Gender Blunders. Welcome to week 77. And this week's question is, how do you feel when you first got hormones? If you haven't gotten them yet, how do you predict you will feel when you do get them? Well, this is Steffi, and I could talk about this question for a long time, I think. Hormones. Ah. I just got back from Pride Festival. Uh, our parade was yesterday. And our festival was this whole weekend. I just kind of got back from there, so I thought I'd record this thing. That's the reason for the whoops flag in the background and the little flag there. And the little lay and the pride-colored nails. <laughs> but uh, this week, actually I do have a couple of stories that fit in very nicely with hormones, so I'll get to those in a little bit. But how did I feel? Wow. Um, I never do anything legitimately. You folks know that. And uh, that's, that goes for hormones as well. Initially I was scared, but I was curious. Because I was frankly experimenting. I had no concept of what I was doing. Uh, but I did know that when I took the hormones, it was making me feel better. Not high, not that kind of feel better, but my physical condition was getting a whole lot better. My blood pressure was becoming better, and so forth. And I thought that was um, amazing. You know, because you know, you folks know that I stopped twice initially. Because uh, I really didn't understand that I was trans at the time. And so when I uh, got scared on them, I stopped. Uh, but I was curious uh, as to what they were going to do. The emotions came as somewhat of a surprise. And the mood swings um, became... Uh, apparent, uh, but I didn't, as I said, I really didn't understand. And so that was the first, first time it was an experiment. It made me feel good, I mean physically good. Uh, when I started them for good last year, uh, last, I guess that's spring, and they, I was well hopeful, that's how I felt, hopeful. Because I knew they were going to make me feel better, and my health was deteriorating. And I said, you know, am I going to go out with a bang, or am I going to go out with a whimper? So I decided to go out with a bang. Put myself on hormones. When the girl emerged, and I finally figured out what I was. Thank you, Shay. I was extremely happy, and that happiness has never, ever, ever left me. And my health got better. I, my health is, I'm in very good health right now. Um, I feel like I'm 15, 20 years younger than my physical age is. So I'm quite happy with, uh, that's how the hormones made me feel. They made me feel better. But you know, I have two pride stories uh, to go with this. Yesterday was our parade, and I took my son. The reason I took my son, actually, he asked to go, because uh, I told him about them. He's as straight as they come, you know, and he's, you know, 22 years old right now. And He's, uh, I told him about the, the girls with the nothing but uh, a couple of stickers appropriately placed. And he says, can I go? <laughs> so I took him along yesterday. And he took his little uh, video camera and was having fun uh, video uh, videoing uh, all of the uh, events that were going on. But one of the things that he noticed was all the happiness that was at that parade all the wonderful people 
And he said, you know, I didn't expect that. I thought people were going to bash on me for being straight. And I said, no, they weren't. They weren't going to do that. And he says, everybody there was happy. Everybody there was wonderful. And that's somewhat unusual. But, you know, I think our community is that way. I think our community is caring and happy and wonderful. So much more so than maybe the average population is. So that's uh, one story of pride. So how does the hormones make you feel? I think that's interrelated. I think that we being who we are and understand what we are and are finally making it happen make us all feel pretty good. My second story is after the festival today, I was walking back to the car, had on my leg and, you know, my little beads, my nails. And, you know, some people know where I was, clearly. And a uh, lady came up to me. I actually had stopped to uh, fix some things. And a lady came up to me and she said, did you just get, get out of the, per, uh, the uh, festival? And I said, yes, I did. And she said, um, you don't, you don't, are you, are you gay? And I said, no, I'm transgender. And she goes, what? And I says, yeah, I'm, I'm transgender. See, you, you notice the Adam's apple? And she says, oh, I guess you are. Yeah, the reason I asked you is I just noticed how happy you are. And I, I just live around the, the corner here and I live with a bunch of gay people, and I find them to be so much happier than some of the other straight people that I know. And, wow, just right out of the blue. You know, that's really a wonderful, wonderful thing that that lady said. You know, it says, you know, basically that our community is so much caring and happy and loving and outgoing. And that's different than what seems to happen in many parts of this country. So I thought I would pass those stories along. I thought they were just quite marvelous. Um, it even chokes me up a little bit, as you can tell. But that's my story on the hormones. So as a um, recap, how did I feel? Initially, I was scared, but I was curious as to what they were going to do. And I was very hopeful as to what they were going to do. And all of those things came true for me. Everything that I could possibly have wished for happened. And this year, this last year, you see, I've been on hormones now for 15, 16 months. And this period of time has been the happiest time of my life. And I pass really well as a woman now. Uh, most people see me as a woman. And that makes me feel very good as well. So that's my take on this week's... Uh, topic. I hope that was a fun story for you. If your pride is still coming up, I strongly recommend you go visit it. Go see it. If it had already happened, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had a nice time at the pride parade and festivals. We have a unique community. Thank you, folks. Until next week, this is Steffi saying bye-bye.